Now that we are in survival mode. Now, I will cut down the tree first to get some woods. Look at the sheep. It's very cute. We can only use our bare hands for now so it's still not fast to get some woods. If I crush it to the end the leaves of this tree will fall automatically. See the sheep spinning because it was caught in the fallen tree leaves earlier. Okay, I'll make a spruce plank. And then the crafting table, because it's basic thing that I need to craft more tool that we need. Maybe I will put the crafting table here. Here it is, now more options for making useful tools to use in survival. I will make axes, hoes, shovels, pickaxes, and swords to defend against enemies who might attack. It seems that to cut down enough trees, I will continue mining and looking for coal. In a short time I have found coal. With coal I can make a campfire. It would be useful when I need to cook raw meat. And now we set this campfire close to our shelter. I need more wood and I cut down the trees around here. Clean up all fallen tree leaves. I will build the initial foundation from here. It doesn't need to be big, at least enough to sleep and prepare survival equipment. I'll just speed up this part. Okay, that's it. Now I need a bed, and we will make it by hunting sheep for wool. I want this white color to make the bed look cool. And we need three sheep to make a bed and some wood. After I manage to collect the wook, now we will make a bed and put it in our shelter. Don't forget to add the door. Now my food has been cooked and ready to save in my character. I think I need to have my storage so I can save more items on it. And we are making this furnace which will be useful for processing mining products. Then I put them close to each other. I will move this crafting table too. I think this side is a good place to put it and make more chests to make the storage bigger. Once the chest is finished a person places the chest close to each other and this will join together and make it bigger. Now we continue to mining to find diamonds which are useful for making armor and weapons. And I also need a lot of stones to make new tools made of stone to make this work faster. I needed a lot so made some to dig deeper. This excavation site is getting dark and I need a torch to make it brighter. And luckily, during the first dig, I found coal so we could make it straight away by combining sticks and coal. I thought about raising sheep so we don't have to bother looking for food later. First I made a pen to breed them. Make a fairly large cage to be sufficient. I need a lot of fences to surround it. And don't forget to add the door too. To breed these sheep they need food like wheat. And now, I will make a garden to grow the wheat. It takes time to grow wheat, so later I will look for bone meal to shorten the harvest time. And these are the sheep that I caught so that they can mate with each other and produce lambs that we will later breed. Even though my house is simple, I want to make it even nicer, by adding stone to the floor. And here I am collecting tree seeds to plant in the future if I run out of wood, because I plan to clean this place later. Look at them I'm very happy they are here a lot, and can produce wool and meat. Because when mining the place is very dark, I need a torch to mine deeper. Combine sticks and coal and make a torch. And actually the supply of coal is limited, I will try to make charcoal as a substitute later. For the depth of this passage I will provide a distance between the torches. Okay, I'll try to make charcoal here from the tree I cut down earlier. 
With this item we can get fuel more easily and it doesn't run out easily. Let's mine again to find diamonds. Looks like I need stairs to make it easier to move here. I'll make them with the stones I got. Quite a lot, isn't it? Put it all the way to the end. This is the best way to move. There's so much coal here, I'll just save it. Because I can make charcoal which is better from coal. The next day we continue mining until we find diamonds. Because it's dark here I will add a torch. I will continue to look for diamonds and make armor and weapons from them, if you have any suggestions on where the diamonds are that would really help me. It turns out there are zombies here, I have to destroy them. Too easy for one zombie. I will try to explore this cave. Maybe we can find something useful. Until now there has been no sign of the diamond we are looking for. There's a bat there. I'll fight it and see what we can get out of it. Turns out there wasn't any at all. Where did this skeleton appear from? I have to defeat it. I was forced to kill my sheep because I really needed food. It's very difficult to find it here. And cooking the meat in fire pit. And I ate it straight away so I wouldn't starve and could run too. Here I also didn't find any flocks of sheep and only once. There are so many of them and they attack at the same time. I will definitely lose. Here we have to dig down as far as minus 57 blocks to get diamonds and let's do it. Here I use an iron pickaxe so I can get diamonds quickly. Look, finally we find the diamonds so we can make armor and sword with these diamonds. I will take all the diamonds here. The sound really makes me satisfied. And these are the diamonds that I managed to collect. Quite a lot and enough to make armor. I will make a helmet, protective clothing, protective pants to end shoes and a sword made of diamonds. Then use them one by one. This is very cool and also strong for self-protection. This is the final part of the Minecraft adventure looking for diamonds to make armor and weapons. I hope this can help you and entertain your free time. Thank you for watching the gaming video from Slobat.